Hello friends, how are you? Um, so today I am going to take you through a basic um, shell script uh, to test a monitor SSH connectivity or connection for the servers. So in your organization or wherever you are working right now and if you have a lot of servers uh, in your area or in your application um, and if you need to check basic SSH connection monitoring uh, so you can do that um, by using this very basic monitoring script further you can enhance integrate or use it um, as you think you can use it the way you want and I'm planning to use uh, network command utility here in order to um, create this particular script so let's move on now I am in my AWS console and I am going to launch a, um, let's try with this one Ubuntu put over here as 3 and launch it view instances mm, hold on so my instances will appear in some time now I have all these three instances. I'll mark one of these as some sort of monitoring server from where I'm going to run that script. Uh, now let's connect to this particular server. Uh, I'm going to connect over here. thing over here okay um, let's try creating the script okay so um, let's see check sh connection dot sh now I'm going to put over here sharing line and few parameters like um, to which port I need to connect basically it would be 22 now I'm going to create a for loop over here uh, let's say it reads the number of whatever the servers we have let's say I have a file servers uh, sorry first we will cat over here cat servers dot txt now um, I'm going to use the uh, 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 a utility which I was talking about it before which is um, called as uh, netcat command so netcat is nothing but a network command line tool in Linux um, it's basically a network monitoring tool um, and it is a very important utility for various system administrators or whoever is working in the production support side and um, there are a lot of users of this netcat command even so it, it helps you to uh, do port scanning copy uh, files uh, from one server to another 
um, doing this SSH connection uh, monitoring or uh, uh, having a command line chat server. So they are very use. There are very uh, various uses of this particular network utility command. Um, but we are for now just concentrating on this SSH connection thing. So what we will do? We will open a socket and send a particular character. Okay. So my character here is uh, this. Okay. So I'm. The command is nc net, netcat command, and I'm going to put over here the timeout period. And what? Oh, I need to put over here the timeout variable as well, because timeout uh, should always be mentioned whenever you use any sort of network monitoring or network, uh, or you fire any network command. So it should it should be having it should be with a timeout period always. Now over here, let's say server which I have extracted from servers.txt, right over here. And yeah, the last thing is port only, right? Uh, you are already aware of this dev null, right? So you can go through my file descriptors video uh, where you can get um, some details about this particular dev null. Now we are just going to see whether it's successful or not, right? The command execution. So what are we going to do? equals to zero check if it's zero, right? Then it should uh, server is available, okay? Else Server is unavailable. Sorry. I'm going to close this with F five and closing this for loop. So this is a very simple script, right? What we are going to do? We are just reading all. The, we are. Getting all the server names over here, which I'm going to put over here. I have three servers. I'm going to put two servers over here. Okay. And it is going to read the server name over here. And I'm going to send a character by opening a socket with this particular server and port with a timeout period of, let's say, three seconds. If this is successful, then service available, that is, SSH connection is successful. But if it doesn't return anything, then server is unavailable, right? So now servers dot txt file, right? Now I need to put the IPs from the instances which I have, right? So I have two instances. Now, dot one four five dot seven four this is my first server and the other server is three point eight one
0.173.171, right? So these are my two servers. Now I have check connection.sh and servers list, right? So now I'm just going to change the permissions as 755. Now if I run over here, it says uh, both are both should have been available. Oh, okay, okay. So I made a mistake over here. Look, okay, it's 3.81. Now, if I run this command, now it shows my first instance is available the second IP is also available yeah. now likewise if you have a long list of servers and if you put over here so it will help you to check your SSH connection or the availability of all the servers on a particular port and yes I mean this is a kind of monitoring that you could do um, in your organization uh, if you want to keep on suppose you are working for a payment gateway processing application uh, where you have tons of servers but now uh, since these servers should be available all the time right and if it isn't available so you just take it down so likewise uh, to check and monitor all the servers you can use such kind of SSH connectivity check thing uh, so that you can monitor your whole network or all the servers that you have in your uh, uh, application or the network right uh, so this is a sort of basic check that you can implement uh, and uh, use it as you want right uh, so uh, what you can do is like you can create a sort of report and keep on sending on hourly basis uh, to your support DL so that they are aware that yeah these also are um, are currently available and we don't have to worry about it so such kind of scripts you can integrate you can enhance or you can use it in your way right this is just a basic idea that I have given over here so thank you for watching I hope you are liking my videos please subscribe to my channel and share it as much as you can thank you so much bye bye